Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for differentiation. So kindly refers to the question, here we have the y is equal to bracket ax plus with the b, multiply with the exponent negative 3x. Where the a and b are constant, shows that we have the second derivative plus with the first derivative plus with the 9y, which is equal to 0. So let's begin. We have to make use of the product rule. We have v u prime plus u v prime. So let's say here we have the u and the v. y prime, where we have the situation v. Differentiate the u, so we will have a. Plus the situation, kindly copy the u. So we have ax plus with the b. Differentiate the v, so we will have exponent negative 3x. Differentiate the power, and we will have negative 3. Kindly rewrite the situation. We have the y prime, which is equal to a exponent negative 3x and then negative 3 exponent negative 3x multiply with the ax plus with the b. Rewrite the situation. We have the y prime equals to a exponent negative 3x minus the 3. Kindly refers to this part. Notice that we have the y. So kindly substitute. We have the y. Differentiate for the second time. y double prime equals to a differentiate the exponent refers to the power, and then minus 3 y prime. So kindly rewrite the situation. We have the y double prime plus with the 3 y prime equals to negative 3 a exponent negative 3 x. So refers to this part. Rewrite the situation. So we have a multiplied with the exponent negative 3 x actually equals to y prime plus with the 3y. So kindly substitute into this part and we will have the situation y double prime plus with the y prime multiplied with the 3 equals to the negative 3 bracket. As we can see, a multiplied with the exponent negative 3x which is equals to we have the y prime plus with the 3y. So kindly expand y double prime plus with the 3y prime equals to negative 3y prime minus the 9y. Rewrite the situation. We have the second derivative and then plus with the 6 multiplied with the first derivative and then plus with the 9y, which is equals to 0. Notice that we already shown the situation given. Next, we have the parametric differentiation. The parametric equation of a curve are given by the situation where we have the x, which is equal to 1 over 3, bracket, sine, 2 theta, power of 3. Continue. We have the y, which is equal to 2, bracket, cos, 2 theta, bracket, power of 3. So find the dy dx in terms of theta. So focus on the situation. So here we have the dx, d theta, which is equal to 1 over 3, bracket, Focus on the power 3. So we have 3, bracket, sine, 2 theta, to the power of 2. Bracket. Focus on the internal function. Differentiate the sine, and we will have the cos, 2 theta. Then, focus on the 2 theta, and we will have the 2. So rewrite the situation. So dx, d theta, which is equal to, we have sine, squared, 2 theta, then multiply with the cos, 2 theta, and then we have the value 2. So that is the dx d theta. Next, focus on the dy d theta. Equals to, we have the 2 bracket. So focus on the 3. So 3 bracket cos 2 theta bracket square. Focus the internal function. Then we will have the situation. Differentiate the cos and we have the negative sine 2 theta. Differentiate the 2 theta and we will have the 2. Rewrite the situation. So the dy d theta, which is equals to negative so here we have the 6, then multiply with the 2, we have the negative 12, sine 2 theta, and then cos square 2 theta. So find the dy dx. So dy dx, which is equal to dy d theta, multiply with the d theta dx. So kindly substitute, we have negative 12, sine 2 theta, cos square 2 theta, Remember, flip the situation. So here we have over 2 sine squared 2 theta and then cos 2 theta. So dy 
dx where we have negative 6 then we have the cos 2 theta over the sine 2 theta so finally the dy dx is equals to negative 6 cotangent 2 theta next continue hence find the value of the parameters theta if dy dx is equals to negative 2 multiply with the third tree where the theta is in between 0 and pi over 2 so kindly substitute the situation so here we have negative 2 third tree which is equals to negative 6 cotangent 2 theta kindly rewrite the situation so here we have negative 6 over the tangent 2 theta equals to negative 2 square root of 3 so tangent 2 theta which is equals to negative 6 over the negative 2 third tree multiply by the conjugate we have the third tree so rewrite the situation so here we have the tree third tree over we have the tree so we have the square root of 3 which is equals to tangent 2 theta so here they mentions that tangent positive so step number one tangent positive so we have the first quadrant and also the third quadrant so that is the first step we have the tangent positive second step tangent 2 theta equals to square root of 3 so the basic angle 2 theta which is equals to we have the 60 degree so that is the basic angle so number 3 we have the range so 0 so in here we have pi over 2 which is 90 degree so based on the basic angle we have to multiply by the 2 in order to get the 2 theta so we have the 0 we have the 2 theta then we have 180 degree so number 4 based on the rotation so in here we have the basic angle 60 degree here we have the base angle another 60 degree so rotation will begin with 0 until 180 so the solution will be 2 theta which is equals to 60 degree so theta will be equals to 30 degree so the theta will be pi over 6 radian next we have the implicit differentiation given we have the x exponent y plus with y ln x which is equals to 5 find the dy dx in terms of x and y so making use of the product rule where we have v u prime plus u v prime so let's begin we have the exponent y then we have multiply the x become 1 plus we have x exponent y we have add on the dy dx continue plus we have the ln x differentiate the y and we have the y prime continue plus the y then we have 1 over x which is equals to 0 so kindly focus on the y prime where we have the dy dx so in here we have the y prime bracket we have the x exponent y plus with the ln x equals to we have the negative exponent y negative we have y over x so kindly equate the denominator so we have negative x exponent y minus the y over the x so where we have the y prime multiply with x exponent y plus with the ln x continue we have the dy dx which is equals to the negative x exponent y minus the y over we have the x bracket x exponent y plus with the ln x so that is the dy dx if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend thank you so much for watching this video bye